Welcome everyone to how to use a conveyor system in Farming Simulator 17. So, as many as you know, there is a conveyor system available in Farming Simulator 17. Um, it involves um, three conveyor belt systems. Um, this conveyor belt allows you to load your um, root vegetables onto, onto a train or onto a, a high trailer, something that might not be possible with the beet harvester so it is a good thing to have if you want to load high 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 trailers this allows you to extend the length of your conveyor belt system you can have as many as you want and it's not going to affect any your system whatsoever and this guy is 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 the crucial part of your whole system it basically picks up anything you have off the ground and transfers it to the con conveyor belt system. Otherwise, without him, the conveyor belt system would not be possible. And this, as it says, allows you to pack your your beetroots or your potatoes into into in, into into pallets. As I made one here, and I will demonstrate it how to do it in a second. So here are three your three conveyor belts. The short one the extension and then the high one the elevated conveyor belt you might want to start with the, with the elevated conveyor belt and it's very simple to drive with it you just press E enter it and it drives using the WASD buttons you have a few options if you, when you press the left mouse button and track down or up you can actually Elevate the conveyor belt to your liking and if you hold the right mouse button and go from side to side It extends the conveyor belt, which is very useful later stage. So I will extend the conveyor belt fully Go down a bit Check if it is um, over The the train card and spit out so I'll just drive a bit further And as you can see, it's over the card. Now, as you can see, you can hire a worker here. And to press H, he will basically fold the legs and go from side to side to evenly distribute your load. Now, if you want, you can change the angle at which the worker swings by pressing Y. It goes from five degrees to 50 degrees. So I'll demonstrate that now. So he's going to keep going from side to side all the time until we tell him to stop. And as you can see, 50 degrees is quite a bit. So I will just stay with 10 degrees in a second, just after I finish setting up my conveyor belt system. So we'll just wait for him to... And you can also drive it yourself by pressing W and S, which is really simple. Now. The extension is really good, it allows you to create a long, long trail of conveyor belts. And you drive them just like any other conveyor belt. But this one has, as you can see, has two conveyor belts, one on top of the other. So it's really good if you want to like go from side to side. So I'll dem I'll now I'll tell you how to use it. So. The right mouse button swinging up and down allows you to extend the the, the one the higher one the higher um, conveyor belt, and if you hold the left mouse button from side to side, it allows you to, to change the swing. And holding the left mouse button and swinging up and down changes the angle of elevation of the lower conveyor belt. Something we ought to consider when using the the elevated conveyor belt. Now. You can make the, the conveyor belt go down or up. It allows you to extend it while holding the right mouse button and going from side to side. Now, you can rotate it by 180 degrees and only 180 degrees as the bracket here prevents you from going further. Just like in real life. So I have that. I will have it rotated here, just in case. As you can see, I did some bit transporting earlier on as a test. 
Now I want this lower. Another one here. What? Now you can connect in the conveyor belts using Q. And that's what I've done a second ago by just pressing Q. And now I'll demonstrate how to use the smaller one. So we can unfold it by pressing X as in any other two and just drive it around. As I can see, the conveyor belt already picked up something from the ground. The beast that I had on the ground earlier on were picked up. If I can just drive over the conveyor belt, it starts filling it up. And as you can see, it goes up and up and up. It's very simple. So I can have it here. Just over a conveyor belt. And now, here is your beat harvester. I have quite a bit of beads in it. I will extend my arm, my pipe, and I can just drive over it. And I just and I just start unloading. As you can see, the conveyor belt picks up the beads and they all get transported up the conveyor belt from one to another and into the cart. I might want to drop it a bit further. I want to see. It's going to fill. It is going to fill, so there's no need for me to drive up. So, that is how the conveyor belt system works. And at the start, it is very confusing as there is no tutorial or anything like that. But hopefully, this helped you. So now you won't be confused. You can try with different grains or potatoes or anything like that, but it cannot be on the road. If I were to empty the beads onto a road, it would not be possible, as you can see here. It would just go nowhere. See? Nowhere. So you can try with different grains and stuff like that, but remember to always unload it on the grass or on the field. Now, here is your your pallet creator. So if you load your pallet creator with beets or potatoes and press I, as you can see a pallet is placed and the beets are put into the pallet. Each pallet contains one ton of vegetable. So it's easy if you want to store it or just transport later on. Down, that's one tom down, and you can just drive up a bit closer. And another pallet's placed, and let's get them filled again. So that is how you do pallets, and how you use the conveyor belt system. So hopefully the tutorial helped you. And now you know how to use a conveyor belt system in Farming Simulator 17. Thank you for watching and remember to change your angle to less than 50 because your beat will not fall in. Thank you and good luck.